What are IVC filters? The inferior vena cava is the largest vein in the body. It carries deoxygenated blood from the lower extremities to the right atrium of the heart and then to the lungs. An inferior vena cava filter, or IVC filter, is a small cone-shaped device that's implanted into the inferior vena cava just below the kidneys. Why are IVC filters used? IVC filters are placed to prevent blood clots in certain patients. The filter is designed to capture blood clots that break loose from one of the deep veins in the legs and travel to the heart and lungs. What are the side effects or common problems associated with IVC filter use? There's a growing body of clinical evidence regarding the association between inferior vena cava, IVC filters, and life-threatening health complications, even going so far as to question whether trauma patients really benefit from having these implants placed at all. A patient can experience IVC filter fracture and migration symptoms as blood loss, extreme chest pain, breathing issues, or puncturing of veins, organs, or tissues. Filter implantation side effects can include device-related death, device migration, filter embolization, filter break, insertion site thrombosis, perforation of the inferior rate vena cava, recurrent deep venous thrombosis, DVT, recurrent pulmonary embolism, PE, surgery to remove the device, thrombatic issues. What is the status of the litigation? The first lawsuits were filed against Bard in California and Pennsylvania state courts in 2012. In October 2014, the U.S. Judicial Panel on Multi-District Litigation, JPML, consolidated lawsuits against Cook from 11 districts to an MDL in the Southern District of Indiana. In February 2015, C.R. Bard settled an IVC filter side effects lawsuit 10 days after the trial began. The JPML consolidated lawsuits against Bard in the District of Arizona in August 2015. Currently, this means that there are two large multi-district litigations and a number of lawsuits that are still pending in federal and state courts.